so it's gonna be meatloaf, and we're gonna smoke it up out on the Weber kettle tomorrow. Yeah, I know, I'm getting stuff ready the day before. I love to do that when possible. And you can do the same thing with meatloaf. Get it all formed the night before, put it in the refrigerator. When you're ready for the grill, take it out there. So let's get started. Now I've got three pounds of 8515 ground beef here. And because these are sort of two little pieces, like a pound and a two pound, I wanna mix them together a little bit first before we add the rest of our ingredients. Just to kind of get them into a more of a homogenous mixture. Just a little bit here. First up, we're gonna add one teaspoon of a coarsely ground black pepper. One teaspoon of granulated garlic. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. Next up, I have half a cup of some marinated red peppers that I've chopped up. And these were marinated in oil, and so there's gonna be a little bit of oil added to this, a little bit of fat. So that 8515 is not gonna be bad. Normally I'd like 8020, but we're gonna get a little bit more fat in here with these marinated red peppers. I've got half of a red onion that I've chopped up pretty good, not diced or anything like that. And about a cup of mushrooms. I've got these mini Bella mushrooms that I chopped up. Now I wanna get these things mixed together before we add our binders, our egg and our breadcrumbs. Just wanna get everything distributed in here first before we start building the structure of this meatloaf. Yep, get back in there. Everybody's trying to escape tonight. There's a lot of hearty ingredients in here. There's mushrooms, the onions, some things are gonna be poking out and that is fine. And if a few slip out, our meatloaf will survive. Now I'm gonna add one egg and I've got about a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add about half of them first. And we mix. And what we're feeling for is how wet this is. If it's too wet, we'll add some more breadcrumbs. If not, we're good to go. I think we need just a little bit more. Maybe another quarter cup here. Really kind of work everything in here. Kind of feel the structure of this coming together now. It's wanting to hold together better. And most of our ingredients are hanging on. Some are still falling out, but that's okay. All right, let's take this and we're gonna form it into our meatloaf. So I have a piece of parchment paper here on my cutting board. It's just gonna make it easier to form and to get it onto the final resting place that it's gonna go into the refrigerator resting on. Get our hunk of meat out here. Get any errant pieces that fall off. And you know, it, it's a pretty good shape right now. This is sort of your classic meatloaf shape right here. You see that kind of like a stubby football. Just wanna kind of tuck underneath here, just go around, tuck in. That'll make it a little easier when you're sliding it off this onto the cooking grate, because we're gonna use a separate cooking grate that it will rest on when we put it on the barbecue. But are we done here? No, we are not. We're gonna add some bacon. Now what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna lay some bacon at an angle here. I'm not worried about creating some special pattern I just wanna get a few slices on here, maybe more than a few, just so we have some interesting look. And I'm not doing a classic weave where we're going over and under, over and under. This will work just fine. Just like that. All right, let's get this onto our roasting rack. Get my rack here, lift this on. And then we're just gonna slide this off. Try and center it here. All right, this is gonna go in the refrigerator overnight, and I'll see you tomorrow out at the grill. All right, the Weber kettle's up to temp. I want about 275 degrees today. I'm using the Mallory firewall and the Mallory cast iron grate. I love this setup. I've adjusted the firewall a little bit closer to the left side to contain the charcoal more and give us more indirect zone. So let's go ahead and get this meatloaf on. Get my temperature probe in here. See if we can get dead center in that meatloaf. And I'm gonna put a piece of red oak on for a little smoke today.
So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid on and at about 110 degrees, we're gonna come back and glaze this with a barbecue sauce. So I'll see you back here when we hit that 110 degrees. All right, we are coming up on 110 degrees here. Let's take a look and glaze this. Oh, that's looking good. Got some little bits of bacon peeling back here, but that is not gonna harm the taste at all. Now the sauce I'm using today is a rib rack bourbon barbecue sauce. Just wanna pour a little bit on here and then I'll brush it carefully over our meatloaf. I wanna get a good glaze here. Oh, this is smelling great. All right, we're gonna get the lid back on and this is gonna continue smoking until it gets to 155 internal. That's where I like my meatloaf. Ground meat, the recommendation is 165, but you gotta make that choice how much you wanna to get towards that 165. There'll be some carryover when I take this off. So I'll see you back here when we hit 155 internal. All right, we are just about to hit 155 internal. Let's go ahead and take a look at our meatloaf, get it off here. And once it's inside, it's gonna rest for about 10 minutes before we slice in. But let's take a look. Oh, I love that color. Go ahead and get our probe out. You can see we have our little flap of bacon sticking up still, no problem with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this off here and get it inside, let it rest like I said, and then we're gonna have a taste. So here's our gorgeous little football of beef and everything else that goes into it, mushrooms, onions. I'm just so happy with the color of this. And like I said, when a little piece of bacon flips up on there, if you're looking for perfection, yeah, you can do things to kind of alleviate that. Longer strips of bacon, wrap them under. I'm not going for perfection here, I'm going for taste and it does look really nice. So let's cut in. All right, trying to get a center piece here and see what we look like. A little end of bacon fell off. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, look at that. I am just so happy with that. Look at that interior. That is nice and moist and juicy there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slice here and if bacon falls off, I'm not worried about it. We'll just grab it and eat that too. Oh, look at that. No, I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna dive in right here to taste. Cheers. Mm. The mushrooms, the onions, everything that went into this is coming through in the flavor, that end glaze. I'm just so happy with this right now. Now you can obviously do this in the oven, but for me, if you can do it out on the grill, get some of that smoke flavor, there's just something extra special about that. It brings just an extra level of deliciousness to this, and I'm enjoying every bite of this. 